Let's talk some boxing. This is JR, the boxing junkie. And, uh, well, I'll be getting my fix tonight with these fights. We got Javante Davis fighting, uh, Liam Welch, I guess the name is. Uh, never saw the guy fight. I'm a big Davis fan, you know, him being from Baltimore, but, uh, I'm real concerned with the way his career is going. I believe he's being mismanaged. Uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather talked all that shit all week long. Then just ditched him at the weigh-in. You know, he knew he was going to come in over. Uh, so what's this tell you about Mayweather? I mean, about his training and... Because it seems like he's training him, not... uh not Ford, but, you know, who the fuck knows who runs that circus. So, while Al Heyman runs the circus, uh, Mayweather's the promotional company. But Mayweather's a media whore. I mean, every time, uh, of course, Javante is quiet, but uh, Floyd Mayweather just, you know, speaks for everybody. Speaks enough for everybody. So... I'm planning on Davis winning, but you know, if you if you're struggling to make the weight last minute, uh be prepared to give up your fucking belt. You know? If this guy took himself serious, I could picture him going home with Javante's belt. And uh truthfully I wouldn't even give a shit. Even though I'm a fan of his, you know, he goes out to Vegas, he can stay the fuck out of Vegas. I could care less, uh, really, as long as they get in the ring and fight good. Now, uh, maybe Wood, if you're watching, you can answer this question, uh, is, never mind, I know the answer to that, uh, this training camp was in Baltimore, I believe, the the majority of it, but um, you know you don't focus on getting to the weight at the very beginning of training camp. Uh, he was walking around very heavy. I've seen several videos of him with Mayweather, and he was pretty close to Mayweather's size, uh, bulk wise. I know Mayweather's got some height on him, and then uh. Let's see. <laughs> There's just so much fights and shit going on. I don't know where to start. But, uh, first off, Keith Thurman's, uh, elbow. Hopefully that heals up. I don't know if you, you know or not, but Keith Thurman had, uh, surgery. I'm sure you know by now. On his elbow. And, uh, I'm not sure what happened to him. But... You know, hopefully he'll make it back and it won't affect his performance at all. And, uh... We got a top rank card tonight, don't we? Yeah, we do. And, uh... Terrence Crawford, Felix Diaz... Now, the problem with that is, unless if I'm the only one that's noticing this shit, but Felix Diaz has some weight, some weight issues. Uh, he just, he's fucking fat. I mean, what else can I say? I see him after, uh, after... Fight was it? I forgot what fight it was, but I seen him in person about two weeks after it, and he was already fucking. He looked like thirty pounds over his fucking weight. So it's like, what the fuck, man? And that'll spell out trouble for him against Crawford. Uh. Now, if I'm wrong about him being fat, and he has been shaped this train, this whole training camp, 
which I think a lot of it did good to losing weight though. But uh, let's say he. Well, I'm I'm not even gonna give him a chance. I'm not even gonna go that fucking far because I believe he's shorter than Gamboa. And as far as I'm concerned, Terrence Crawford's a fucking weight bully. Uh he's Yeah, he could he could fight Lomachenko and, you know, get embarrassed and ha- end up quitting like fucking Walters did. You know, when half the YTBC thought that Walters was going was gonna to win the fucking fight. Uh, well, the LDBC fraction of it, 100% of them were saying uh, Loma was going to win the fight, I believe. I mean, uh, Walters would win the fight. Uh, I know a couple didn't. But, uh, yeah. Um... I've been real fucking busy, so I just haven't had time to keep up. I just know we got a shitload of boxing today. Enjoy it. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jay Cotto. Uh, sorry for your loss, brother. And uh, but your grandmother set you up, man, for meeting Danny Jacobs. That that had to be pretty sweet, man. And that's tight. You just look back, and he's just going to fucking uh four-wheeler go-kart or something <laughs> man i used to fuck this neighborhood up with a go-kart and uh dirt bike and shit man see in baltimore you just ride dirt bikes down the fucking street wherever you don't you don't stop for the police you know you they they normally run you over dead they they've done that I think three people last year uh, fucking got ran over dead, but, you know. I was a member of the 12 o'clock boys riding them dirt bikes, so shout out to them. And uh, I'm out, y'all. Enjoy the fights.